I'm Dan Altman, the co-founder and CEO of Narrative. This is Terry City. In addition to being a Denzel Washington lookalike on the weekends, <laughs> he is the SVP of partnerships at Narrative and works with all the brands. This is Harris Markowitz, an amazing Snapchat storyteller, creator, stop motion, animator. And at Narrative, we are focused on helping brands grow and thrive on Snapchat. We focus on two main aspects of Snapchat. Number one, the creators, and number two, the technology. We work with creators that see billions of views on the platform every single month across categories like music, fashion, sports, and news. And we built an unbelievable technology to help brands track, manage, and optimize every single second they create with us on the platform. Over the last year, since we were launched out of the Disney Accelerator program, we've helped brands see over a billion views on Snapchat. Why do we love Snapchat? So you've heard a lot about why other brands are kind of working in it. We love Snapchat because we see it's the future of where messaging and media come together to create something really, really special. But instead of me just kind of explaining why I love Snapchat or why Narrative loves Snapchat, we had Harris, who's an unbelievable filmmaker, as I said, create a video where he talked to kids on a freezing cold day in New York City about why they love Snapchat, and also explored a creator that a lot of you have probably heard about, and that we've just started working on a really exciting project with that you guys can see on Snapchat coming up, DJ Khaled, and kind of find out why they all love Snapchat, and why it's working, and why it's so important. Hi, my name is Harris. I'm a Snapchat filmmaker and stop motion artist. For the past several weeks, I've been on a journey to find out why people love Snapchat. There are over 100 million people that use the app every day. So where do I even begin? I started by asking my followers for help. Yeah, hi. I'm working on a little project right now and I need your guys' help. I want to hear from you guys why you guys love Snapchat. I love Snapchat. It's the only social media I have, but I love it so much because you can see moments from other people's lives. I mostly use Snapchat because I can follow the stars around the world and see what they like, for example, you. The response from my followers was overwhelming. It's like magic. But I wanted more. So I took to the streets of New York City. How often do you use Snapchat? Every day. Multiple times a day. Every 15 minutes. So if we count every chat message I send, it's probably in the thousands. All of them. No, very few people that don't use Snapchat. I use Snapchat first thing in the morning. Wake up in the morning, watch like the regular like news stories. Last thing before I go to bed. I think it's really easy to use. It's just a couple of clicks of the button. Here's something cool I'm doing, and it's done. It can be whatever I want it to be in that day. You sort of get this feeling like, if I'm not on Snapchat, I'm never going to get to see this stuff. And that forces people to, to look at stories. You want to know what's happening on Snapchat? You have to open it up every day. You're not worried about who's going to see your content down the line. So like, candid, like it's nothing you ever see on any other platform besides Snapchat. Snapchat sees 6 billion video views per day. And they aren't only coming from messages between friends. How often do you watch TV? I never turn on my TV. Why? 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 I don't have time. So when do you find time to watch stories? When I'm walking. Going to work. When I'm commuting. When you're sitting on the subway. When I'm eating. Sitting on an airplane. Snapchat for me is la televisión de mis abuelos. But people watch the VMAs more on Snapchat than actually on TV. Actually, there are nine times as many people that watch the VMAs on Snapchat than on MTV. Do you follow DJ Khaled? I do. I do follow DJ Khaled. Yup, you heard right. We said DJ Khaled. As in. The Grammy Award-nominated DJ, producer, label exec that's got so much jewelry. 
I got more drill, and it's not even about the drill. Before joining Snapchat, this is the DJ Khaled that we saw. But now, this is the DJ Khaled that we get to see. Beautiful day. Every chance I get, I water the plants. Lion. The key to more success is using the right soap. The key to more success is to get a massage. This is a major key. The key to more success is to have a lot of pillows. Trust me, this is a major key. Pedicure and manicure. Coconut. Fresh coconut. The key is to enjoy life. The key is to have every key. The key to open every door. Funny thing is, Snapchat ended up being a major key that allowed DJ Khaled to be himself and connect with Snapchat users on a daily basis. It was only a matter of time before DJ Khaled started to receive between three to four million views per snap. That's twice as much viewership than an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Way more people are Keeping Up With Khaled. We the best. That we are, Khaled. Why don't you tell them how it happened? My people's always say, Khaled, you need to get on Snap. Ain't nobody in my house, I'm by myself. I'm like, let me just vibe with my Snap. Not knowing that it's gonna explode. I'm down the street, LA. Meet me there now. And Khaled's not the only one. Other celebrities, artists, and content creators like myself, even the White House, are using Snapchat to connect with people around the world. In making this, I found that there are a lot of reasons why people love Snapchat. But what's the one thing that ties those using it as both a media platform and a messaging platform together? From Khaled to those kids talking to me on a freezing New York City Saturday? The fact that Snapchat allows us to be our most authentic selves in a way no social or video platform has before. They don't want me hanging out with the CEO of Snapchat that refused 300 billion. <laughs> The CEO, Mogul Talk. Stay tuned. So Harris, who's an unbelievable creator, turned to you know, fans of the platform to really ask them why they care about it. It's what we've been doing. We've been finding creators over the last year who've never really used any other platform before and, and helping them grow in a lot of different ways. So we're going to ask Harris a few questions about how he got started and why Snapchat's so important to him and why using it in an authentic and different way is so critical to be successful. So first question, how did you get started? Well, the app was introduced to me in 2013. And um, just like everybody else, I used it to communicate with friends. And then once the story feature came out and I was able to share with a wider group of people, um, I saw that there was more here and there was a way that I can actually tell a story with a beginning, middle, and end. And I'm just like a regular kid from Long Island. And I just thought I just was creating awesome content. And people really took a liking to it. So um, I gained an organic following. And here I am. You've also done some work with brands. Uh, you've done some work with a bunch of brands. How, how has that process been uh, in terms of approvals, uh, in terms of making that content feel organic to, the, right. to, your, to, your, to your fans? So I've always liked writing. I've always loved movies. And I've been able to implement that love and passion into my content. And so when a brand comes and they say, we want to work with you, it's not like, hey, go make something and we're going to pay you for it. It's let's work together. This is a collaboration. It's an artistic partnership. You're the expert. Let's work together and figure out how do we tell a great story on our channel. And it's not about the product. And I, we spoke about this before. Steve Jobs in 1997 was talking about how um, Nike is one of the best brands in the world because they don't promote products. They promote the brand. Milk, for a long time, tried to convince people that um, milk is good for you. And then their sales were going down. But once they did the Got Milk campaign, sales went up. So it's more about the brand and, and like less about the product itself. So when I work with a, I worked with Coca-Cola a couple of times. and. They were like, let's do something awesome together. I said, great. They said the theme is share a Coke. I said, cool, I'm going to do a stop motion story where I'm going to post a bunch of one second photos, and I'm going to have the audience. And I've never seen this before. I tried this out, and it actually ended up working very, very well. People had to tap the screen very, very fast to bring this stop motion um, little movie to life. And um, it got a lot of buzz. They saw a lot of organic growth solely via word of mouth. They didn't promote their QR code. That wasn't really a thing then. Um, and yeah, it's just. It was awesome working with them, and it was a challenge, but we worked together, we were diligent, and we had a great response. Yeah. So, I mean, one of the things that we truly believe in is obviously storyboarding these things out, making them really, you know, formed and, and functional before we get them going, but to make it feel natural and engaging and 
It's not, a, it's not like someone's looking at this and seeing a script. And that's really, in our minds, why someone like Khaled, why someone like Harris has, has kind of a, a fan base that feels like they're friends. And you know, I'd love you to, to dig into using Khaled as, a, as, a, you know, as an example. Why do you think someone like that can be so successful without any seeming script, without any seeming structure, but over time you build a relationship with them? So there are only so many amount of people that knew who DJ Khaled was. He's a producer, but through Snapchat, he found a way that he can be himself. He doesn't have to put on any sort of act, and he can show a different side of himself that wasn't really seen by many, and people started to gravitate towards him. And I always just post what I'm doing. I have like thousands of people right now that are watching this entire process as I went from New York City here. And so this is content that you can't really see anywhere else, and it's native to the platform. And people were talking, you got to follow DJ. He actually told me a couple months ago, you got to follow DJ Khaled. He's blowing up. And that, when he told me and I started watching, I was like, wow, he knew that I would like it. I watched it. We have a very special bond. And it was just really awesome to see how he's blown up, and I feel like this is kind of the tipping point where even celebrities, Kim Kardashian, may get on Snapchat soon. We're going to see this um, really start to explode. I'm very excited. And the UI, I mean, a lot of people, when we're talking to brands, say, it's really hard to figure out. I don't know how to follow someone. I don't know how to you know, really engage with them. But to the audience that's watching it, you know, the, the, the point that you made about its word of mouth, its discussions, its you telling your friend to follow it, that seems to be a big thing that a lot of the, you know, the kids in the street that you were talking to were, were speaking to. Right. And that's kind of how I got my start. People were just talking about my content. And I only focused on the content. I wasn't worried about anything else, just staying true to who I am and what I like. I was just showing my life and also just creating stuff that I thought was funny. So that's really, really special to see somebody who now gets 3 million views per snap. What, he could just film this and then get so much engagement. And that's pretty insane. Yeah. I'm just excited to be here. It's like day five. I mean, any, I know half the people in this room, and you've seen the, the trajectory of my career in terms of where I've been, you know, at Yahoo, when portals were the thing, where everyone went to portals to get their information, to Huffington Post, where Roy taught me how to say fuck, uh, <laughs> and how, that, how media was changing and became more social, to most recently at BuzzFeed, uh, Snapchat and what uh, we're doing at Narrative, where we're 100% focused on creating content on that platform, is really uh, amazing. And, and with the technology that we have in terms of that, uh, data and analytics, we're able to, to prove this theory out that it's working. We have the, the, the views that are in the millions on, on all of the programs that we're running so far. So it's been, it's been amazing. It's been uh, amazing to, to, to work with Harris and, and meet him. And, this is, uh, this is the coolest thing. I, yeah. I'm just, I'm just uh, geek, geeked out and totally jacked. Yeah, and we're so excited to have Terry here. Yeah. Terry, in addition to being an unbelievable you know, leader in the tech space and, and understanding trends, also won an Emmy last year for a 30 for 30 documentary that everyone needs to see and ask him about. Um, <laughs> really kind of understands how to bring content and you know, advertising together and, and has proven it you know, time and time again. Yeah. So we're gonna do something really fun right now. So if you have a Snapchat app and you wanna open up your Snapchat camera, you can point it, uh, the camera on your Snapchat app to the uh, narrative ghost there and hold your finger on the ghost in your camera. Not on the, on the record button, but on the ghost. And if anyone doesn't understand or wants some help in this, we're, yep. we're around to help walk you through it. Yeah. Harris is gonna be doing an amazing story uh, throughout the weekend kind of showing how we can integrate brands. So talk to us about that as well. We can kind of show the natural and organic way to do that um, and, and kind of show what, what storytelling and being organic and authentic on the platform really means. Yeah, so if you're yeah, over di cocktails and dinner, if you want to get your brand or product or movie or TV show into a story that we're doing this weekend with Harris, come talk to us. We're gonna figure out how to do something fun, so. Thank you. Thank you very much.